Hey on YouTube, hope you can hear me okay. Um, I'm shooting this on an iPhone. I don't have proper kit with me, obviously, because I'm on a bike. This is going to be a a little conversation, really, about whether or not you should put a Stage 1 kit, basically, onto your Harley Davidson Sportster. What is a Stage 1? Is it worth it? How much does it cost in the UK? What kind of change are you going to notice in the bike? All that sort of blog. So, first and foremost, it's a beautiful summer evening. It really is a really beautiful summer evening. I'm in a place called Littlehampton, Sussex. Um, I'm out on my 1200 Harley Davidson Sportster. Just had a stage one kit done. And, um, and I'm just going to do a little, little kind of shout out to this as well. This is a Bell Moto 3. Um, new lid that I'm wearing kind of this summer. And it is really cool, um, really like it a lot, and loving it in the orange colours, it's really retro, love it. Um, anyway, so what is a stage one? Basically, with a stage one, you are allowing your stock Harley to breathe and run as it should. Um, there's kind of three components to it really. First one is your air filter. Um, you're going to need to put a new air filter in, allow it to breathe. Second one is going to be your pipes. I've got on here Vance and Hines short shots. Um, again, a performance mod, but also um, a safety mod because you can basically hear them. It's loud, cars get out of your way. And the final thing is to actually have the whole thing um, remapped fuel wise. You can probably get away with putting on some um, some mufflers, just some slip-on cans, without remapping. But if you're going to be, be yeah, if you're going to be putting a uh, an air filter on there and um, some new full exhaust system, you're going to have to remap it. A um, couple of ways you can kind of do that: you can get a power commander, or I went for the Vanson Hines Fuel Pack Three, and actually. The Vanson Hines Fuel Pack 3, I'll talk about that a little bit more in a minute, but it was extraordinarily easy, basically. So, those three component, components, exhaust, air filter, and the remapping, what do they actually do? So the first and foremost thing is you get a lot more noise, and I mean a lot more noise. So in terms of like safety, people hear you come in, people um, get out of the way, it's a bit like kind of Moses, they just, you know, part the Red Sea, and it literally does work like that. Um, you're going to probably get around a 10% power increase. I have noticed the power increase. Um, it was, yeah, it was very noticeable. Um, and what, what are you actually doing to your bike? Basically, you're allowing the bike to breathe as it should. This is basically, it's a, it's a, it's a bit of a, a bit of a nightmare really, because these these bikes, they come out of the factory. Well, this this is how they should come out of the factory. They should come out of the factory with this, with basically the stage one. That's how Harley Davidson's are meant to be. That's what they're meant to be like, but they don't. Because of all the various legislation and laws on noise and laws on exhaust emissions and all that sort of stuff, they suffocate the bikes. So basically, they call it the Harley tax, and it is true. Um, you have to kind of pump about a grand into it to actually get the bike performing and breathing as it should. Um, so what does it cost? Um, if you go to a mainstream dealer or stealer, you're going to be probably looking at anywhere between 1,000 and 1,500 quid to get a stock 883 or 1,200 um, through the whole stage one. Um, if you were to do it on your own, you can pick up a set of Vantanine short shots for between three and 400. You can pick up the fuel pack three for around 300 to 400, and you can get your air filter for between 70 and 100 quid and obviously fit it yourself. The mapping of the fuel with the Vantanine's fuel pack, oh my God, it is so easy. You literally plug it in to the side of the bike. You, you locate the socket, you plug it in, you download the app to your iPad or your iPhone, and then you simply tell it what pipes you've got, what air filter you've got, and it just uploads the firmware. That's it. It literally uploads the firmware. So within about five minutes, the bike's completely remapped. The remapping is, is totally sorted to whatever model you've got, whatever exhaust you're running, whatever air filter you've got. That's it, it's that simple. You then take 
the fuel pack three off the bike and you put it in a drawer, that's it. The only thing is you cannot use that fuel pack on another bike. You essentially connect it to the VIN and the chassis of this bike or whatever bike you're putting it onto and it will allow you to tune it and retune it as many times as you like but you cannot plug it into your mate's bike and do it unfortunately or you probably could via some kind of trickery software but I haven't got a clue how to do that um, so the fuel pack 3 I cannot explain how easy it is it is ridiculously easy um, so that's what you're looking at you're looking at anywhere between if you're going to do it on your own probably about eight to nine hundred quid depending on how good you are at shopping around and getting you know bits and bobs cheap and if you're doing it through a Steeler dealer you're looking at anywhere between a grand and God, <laughs> up to two grand I guess you know depending on what their labor charges and all that kind of stuff they make up is it worth it yeah a hundred percent a hundred percent if if for nothing else purely the noise you are making your bike safer you are making yourself more visible on the road people hear you coming and they get out of your way it's that simple this is this is safe you know loud pipes save lives isn't just a cliche it's the truth um, and these pipes these Vantenheim short shots are loud um, I had some screaming eagle uh, street cannons on this before and they were muted and quiet and horrible um, yeah, I don't recommend them at all. I'm going to be selling them on eBay if anyone wants them. If anyone wants loud mufflers, DM me. Or sorry, if anyone wants quiet mufflers, DM me. Um, is it worth it in terms of performance? I think so. I've noticed the difference. As I've said, I've, it's been kind of quoted in various things that I read online. Anywhere between a 10 and 15% performance increase. Um, the thing about Harley Davidson's is, is you don't really buy a Harley Davidson for massive performance anyway, do you? I mean, you're buying it for torque, noise, and looks, that's it. You're not buying it for top end, you're not buying it to race it. If you want that, go and buy a Jixxer. Um, you know, this is a different kettle of fish. This is something which is, um, yeah, a torque increase which is noticeable. Um, I, as I say, I left the dealership, opened it up, um, and instantly noticed it. So in terms of sound, I'm not sure if this is going to pick up very well here. But let's um, let's get this on. It's got that Harley rumble. So basically, the stage one makes your Harley Davidson sound like a Harley Davidson. It's as simple as that. As I say, how it should sound when you buy it from the factory. I mean, I kind of think it's a bit crazy. You spend £10,000 on these motorcycles and then you've essentially got to go out and, and make them sound and perform like they really should. Um, but anyway, that's a moan for a different day. The other thing about these things is apparently, and leave comments, uh, tell me if I'm wrong, this is completely road legal. So running um, Vantenheim short shots with the Screaming Eagle air filter um, and remapped on the Fuel Pack 3 is completely road legal. It'll pass an MOT. The noise should not get you tugged by the police. It's apparently totally legal. So to sum up, would I recommend it? 100%. If you're considering getting a stage one, go out and do it save the money, beg, borrow, steal the money, get the whatever it is, 800 to two grand that it's gonna cost you and make your bike sound and look and just perform like it should do. But anyway, that's enough now. I'm gonna ride home because the sun is setting and you know, it's all kind of looking very pretty for the evening and I'm gonna go out and ride and have a good time. And um, that's some nice female joggers. And um, yeah. I recommend it, it's awesome, I love it, it has made my bike look and sound and perform like it should. So go do it. Anyway, see you later on, ride safe.